My name is Erica Walker. I teach as a lecturer in graphic communications. I'm also getting my PhD in the School of Education at Clemson University in curriculum and instruction. I started a uh, film production company called Galatia Films when I was a, a grad student. Um, actually graduated from grad school, got a normal person job, um, and about six weeks into that job we had A-list actors that were willing to be a part of our film. And so I quickly realized I couldn't juggle both of these, I was also a mom at the time, I just couldn't make everything happen, and so I let go of that traditional normal job um, and ventured out on my own in probably the biggest way that I ever had before. Our, our big film, which was the documentary Reclaiming the Blade, it was about Western martial arts and how Western martial arts and swords and sword play are used in Hollywood films and how um, there's a, a real difference in what's shown in movies and how practitioners of Western martial arts um, actually did their trade. So I think that there's also the flip side of creativity, um, which is really a lot of times the producer's job, which is what I play both probably in the classroom and then definitely in, in the films I've made. Um, the producer's job is to drive the machine, to not allow the creative geniuses around you to, um, to go overboard. Um, and if you don't do that, then you can spend your entire life with a wonderful creative idea and never actually accomplish a finished piece. I think both as a documentary filmmaker and as a professor, I'm using a lot of similar skills. Communication to a lot of different types of people. Not everybody can hear you the same. Not everybody wants to hear you the same. Not everybody wants to be there that day. Um, just professionals and students have days like that. And so how do you take um, what you desire for your team, whether you're on set, or what you desire for your students, when you're in, your, in the classroom, and how do you kind of infuse that with the passion? How do you how do you help them when their energy's low by infusing your energy into their project? How do you help them stay on schedule? And how do you communicate great with them? So all of those are things that I did both as a professional and then I also feel carried over into the classroom and how I interact with my students and help them in their creative projects.